Hey everybody. So I got this massive box from Too Faced and I pretty much was super excited when I got it because I opened it up and not only was the new melted latex lip glosses in there, but there was also the Glitter Bomb Eye Palette as well as roller skates. Roller skates. I literally grew up rollerblading. Like that is how we spent our time. We used to go to the little rollerblading rink. I this that's where like I had my first major like oh my gosh I must have this boy got, like situation going on. He was this really cute blonde, and I must have been in maybe like sixth grade, and I loved him. And so I always wanted to go to the roller skating rink, hoping that I would run into him again. But I never did. It was a one time situation, and I lost my chance. And I always thought about that fellow. I don't even, <laughs> it's like so ridiculous. But that's where I like, I found my first major like OMG. So seeing these rollerblades or roller skates brought back so many like fun childhood memories of me hanging out with my friends and my brother and sister and rollerblading around our neighborhood. But anyway, inside of it, not only was there roller skates, but some awesome makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and show you this box. It's really heavy, but it basically just says, Too Faced Glitter Like Your Minute. It's really a huge box. So inside it says, want to roll with us? Just add glitter. And it's like super fun like you're at the roller skating rink. And then, am I strong enough for this? Oh my god. I don't think I am. Guys, this is very difficult. Uh, okay, well, apparently, oh my god, do you see that? Okay, so that's what the packaging came like. Man, I should have just film this a different way, it's ridiculous. Anyway, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will have already seen it. Basically, we are just gonna go ahead and start trying stuff on our face. So I'm gonna do lip swatches and eye swatches of the Too Faced Glitter Balm eye palette, as well as the melted latex. So shall we just start? Shall we? Let's zoom in. So this is what the palette looks like, and it's so fun because when you move it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's actual glitter in here so it's like a little cutout filled with little like chunks of glitter so it, it shakes it moves around which is really cool we have a mirror and then this is the actual palette so you've got the two eyeshadows on the end which are um bases so one is a white matte base and then one is a black matte base to brighten or intensify the glitters, or you can apply them wet for a liquid crystal-like finish who says you can't wear glitter to breakfast, that's what it says. And then you have these eight shades of glitter. Look how cute the colors are. So I think what I'm gonna do is just apply them on my eyes, just like each shadow. And then we'll try and see what it looks like with the brightening base and the intensifying base. And then I'll do the liquid lip swatches on my eyes after that. So let's go ahead and do the um, eye swatches first. So the very first color, and I'm just gonna apply them with my finger, I think, is this color right here. And this is called Fairy Dust. We're just gonna pat that. Oh, oh, pretty. It's kind of like, a white with a tiny hint of kind of like a pinky glow to it. It's really pretty. It's very light. Um, next color we're gonna try is Rose All Day, which is definitely more of a pink tone. The, the Fairy Dust is white with a pink tone, but this is definitely more of like a pinky peach kind of rose. I actually have worn this already and it was so pretty and I just like absolutely loved it so there's the difference you can see the fairy dust is a lot whiter and then that one definitely is more kind of a pinky peach tone it's really pretty like it has like little kind of like almost like pinky purpley flecks there's those two together the next two colors we're gonna try is what is this confetti which looks like this is a really pretty kind of like lilac Oh my gosh, this actually matches my background today. <laughs> oh, it's so fairyish. Unicorn, that is like a unicorn. That is beautiful. Okay, then we're gonna try Work It. This is kind of like a reddish pink shade. Oh, okay, so it kind of changes a little bit. It looks like it's... Oh, wow, this one is intense. Oh my gosh, that one is beautiful. So it's kind of like a red, but then as you like move around, it has like a pink shift. 
Wow, that one is so beautiful. It, it looks red, but then you move and it has like a pink shift of like sparkle. And then that one is just like a straight up like lilac with like little kind of really baby pink lilac-y flecks. You do get major fallout with this. I'm already noticing it like all over my face. But so far, these are absolutely beautiful. Like, oh my goodness, I love them. So now we have Hot Damn, which is a really pretty, it looks like it's a purple with like a fuchsia. Oh, it's so interesting. So it's purple, but then it has like kind of a bluish like shift, but there's also some pink in there too. It's like a little bit of everything, blue, pink, and purple all into one. So that's really cool. Next, we're going to try Oh, It's On, which looks like it's a gold, but then when you sh when you move it around, it looks like there's kind of like a a green shift to it. Oh my god, this one is intense. These are so pigmented. They're beautiful. I just like, oh. Uh. Okay, this one is absolutely beautiful. Can you guys see how pretty that is? I feel like it looks so weird with one purple and one yellow. Um, that one to me looks like it is a gold with like an orangey, it's like an orangey kind of golden base, like a peach. And then it has like golden kind of green like shift. It's really cool. And then this purple, is really beautiful as well. The fallout is insane though. Like the fallout is whoa Nelly status. It's really crazy. But that color is actually, ooh, is it my favorite? I don't know, but it's really beautiful. Like I feel like you could create some really awesome looks with these. My eyes are gonna look jacked at the end of this video. We're gonna try glitter goals, which is right here. It kind of looks like it's a little bit of a purpley, hmm, what is it? It's like a blue with like a pur purpley pinky sparkle. It's like a very cool toned blue, like a very grayish blue. And then there's like some purple and kind of like pink in there. If you guys can tell, let's see. Yeah, it's like blue with little pinky purple sparkles. And then next we have Splash, which I mean, how perfect is that name? This is like a really pretty kind of teal. Oh gosh, yes. That is super fun. That is like a mermaid or a peacock. It's kind of like a teal with little greenish, yellowish flecks. Those are so pretty. I just absolutely love these. They're so much fun. So now what I'm gonna do is I think, well, first of all, I'm gonna brush off this fallout because I am looking ridiculous. There's not a color there that I don't like. I think they're all absolutely beautiful. They go on nicely, they're pigmented. They're super fun colors. I feel like you can get a lot of different um, looks with the palette. There's a nice range of colors on there. So now what I wanna do is try it over the bases. They are just a matte base that's white and then a matte black base. Okay, so I got this little card here and it does say inside that it works if you want to wear the glitter alone, it says apply shadow insurance first, followed by eyeshadow. Apply using your ring finger and use glitter glue, which is this from Too Faced, to lock it down. Then it also says, if you want to use the black or white base to shift the color of the eyeshadow, apply shadow insurance first, then the intensifying base or brightening base, followed by glitter glue, this right here, and then pat on the glitter glue and tap glitter shadow onto the eye. I'm gonna take the brightening base first and we're just gonna basically put that. I just wanna see like what it's going to look like by doing this because I am very interested to see. Then on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark base and then we'll see what the difference. We'll use the same color how weird do I look right now? So I think then it says to put the glitter glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press a tiny little bit of the glitter glue into my fingers. And then we're just gonna press that on top of the base. And then what color do I wanna try? Let's do this one, cause this one was really fun. 
This is the O oh, It's On. I want to see what it looks like over the two different bases. So this is over the brightening base. So it definitely does intensify it by putting the brightening base and the glitter glue underneath the shadows. So if you do want a super intense look, I would definitely recommend doing that. Let's go ahead and take Oh It's On again and apply it on this side and see if we can see a difference over the back, the black, the black. Okay, so two completely different looks, but just using the exact same glitter shadow and a brightening base versus the intensifying base. So I really like the fact that they have included those two different bases for you guys in the palette because then I feel like sometimes, you know, you want to do a different look, but you might not have those different bases to create something different. So it's nice that they're both in there. So you can create a bunch of different looks using these glitter shadows without having to like search in your drawers for something different because those are completely different. I mean, those are like night and day as far as the colors. Over the black, it definitely has more of a kind of greenish tone. And then over the white, it has more of a kind of like orangey kind of sunshine shade. So I really like those. I feel like it definitely does make a huge difference applying it over the um, bases as well as having that glitter glue under. So I would say if you are gonna get these or get this palette, I would absolutely recommend getting the glitter glue primer. Also, it says that you can set them if you're going to use them alone without the bases with this. So you would put that shadow on first and then put this on top to set it. So there's a couple of different ways to use this and there's a couple of different ways to use this palette. I just think they're both really cool. It's just a completely different look on both sides. Uh, definitely make sure that you are powdering though if you are going to be wearing this, this um, shadow because it is major fallout, like serious fallout. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply like the confetti all over just so that I don't look so ridiculous because right now I feel like I'm like looking crazy. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the rosé all day and just kind of like tap it over here too. That is so pretty. Like if you just wanna like add a little extra sparkle to your life. I think the trick would be to really like press it in. One side looks way more purple because it was black under there. If you probably just set it, that way it's got a little bit of moisture. Yeah, it just kind of pops it a little bit. Okay, so I'm covered in glitter and I look mismatched, but whatever. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lip swatches. So these are a high shine kind of like latex formula. So the, the idea is that they're super duper shiny, super kind of like thick and intense. So this is what the packaging looks like. So you can see it kind of has that little like almost triangle shape at the bottom and then it is just black top, the gold rim, and then it says melted latex. This is the color Hopeless Romantic. And basically these are very opaque, very pigmented. The wand is a little bit more precise, but then it has a little pocket where the, uh, the stuff sits. So you get a lot of product, uh, you know, with one dip, which is really nice. Like you only really need one kind of like swipe. You don't need a bunch of coats. It's very thick. It's very pigmented. It's very opaque. And it just gives you that really shiny finish. So that is Hopeless Romantic and they are kind of sticky. I mean, I, I feel like they're sticky. It's not like gunky, like overly like, oh my gosh, I can't open my lips, but you know, it definitely has a stickiness to it. Um, but what would you expect with something that was super shiny? I mean, I'm not expecting it to feel like lip balm, you know? So there's Hopeless Romantic. Yes, I have a zit in the crevice of my lip. Like, what on earth? Ugh, it's so annoying. It's right there, and it's like the most stupid thing ever. So next we have Peekaboo, which is a slightly pinker um, nude. It's very light, and it has a really nice kind of 
pinky peach, whereas the other one was a slightly warmer peach nude. This one just has that perfect amount of pink in the nude to make it so that it's just... Okay, I have two lip zits. This is not making it easy for me. These have a really interesting smell. It's almost like some kind of yummy, fruity, like, alcoholic beverage, like a pina colada or... It's like coconutty and mango-y. I don't know what the smell is, but it smells really good. So there is Peekaboo. So you can see it's slightly pinker. It has a really nice kind of pinky, peachy nude shade. This is actually my favorite color. I love this. I've been wearing this quite a lot lately, and I think it's really nice. The one thing I have noticed about these is that they do create that white line really, really bad. So if you don't like that line, I would stay away from these because this is such a thick product that the more you talk, it does create that little like white gunky grossness and I hate that, but they are really pretty if you're not concerned about like talking. I feel like it's when you talk a lot, when you go out and you're like having dinner with someone, that's what happens. You get that white line and it happens really quickly and really bad with these ones. So maybe it's just better for like looking good for a short amount of time versus like a longevity type of thing. They do last really well. They stay on the lips. It's just they create that white line really bad. So I just wanted to like let you guys know that because I don't like that white line, but they are really pretty. So there is Peekaboo. Okay, so next color we have is called Safe Word. And this looks like a true kind of like Barbie, like a very light Barbie pink. But you can see how like intensely pigmented these are. You um, don't need to worry about what is underneath. Like if you have really red lips, you don't need to worry about putting condition or conditioner, a concealer or foundation underneath to cover the redness. This will cover everything you need to cover. So there is safe word. So you can see that is like a true, in my opinion, Barbie pink. So next we have the color Love You, Mean It. This is really fun. This is like a really fun, bright, kind of like neon coral, perfect for summer. This is actually a color that I would probably absolutely wear. Sometimes I feel like the cooler pinks are a little harder to pull off without looking like a doll, but this is something that I think would be really fun with the right eye look if you just kept it real simple and then just had this as your pop, that would be really beautiful. So this, I love, this is really pretty. Okay, so this is the color Love You Long Time. We love you long time. And this is really pretty actually. It's like a really fun kind of like purpley pink. It's almost like a fuchsia, but more purple, and I like it. I actually really like it. It's not the kind that makes your teeth look yellow, which is always good. So if you like those purpley pinks, Love You Long Time would be the one for you. This is the color But First Lipstick, which is a hot pink, like, whoa Nelly, hot pink bright. And you can see the darker the colors, I feel like the more latexy they look, if that makes sense. Um, the lighter ones, for me, don't look quite as latexy. They still look shiny, but I feel like as you get darker, it's like, whoa, yes, that does look latexy. So this one is actually really pretty. Again, a really fun, bright pink. These are really fun for the color, for the color, for the summer as well. So, but first lipstick. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, so Rated R is like a really hot, kind of like orangey coral. It's less pink than the other one. My lips are getting bigger by the minute. Yes, Unicorn Tears is coming in the latex formula, formula. And I'm really excited about that because I actually never got the Unicorn Tears lipstick. Um, don't ask me why. I mean, crap. I've got everything else unicorn in my life. I don't know why I don't have the unicorn lipstick, but I don't know. I just don't. So that is coming all on its own, apparently. Unicorns don't share the spotlight. This is called I'm Bossy. My lips are looking really ridiculous right now because they're super swollen, but this is a really pretty red. Um, this is called Hot Mess. And that's basically what I feel like right now. My lips look like Miranda Sings. Okay, so this is Hot Mess, which is a slightly deeper toned pink. It definitely has a kind of a purpley tone to it, but it's definitely on the kind of deeper, more um, like berry toned pink versus like a purple pink, if that makes sense. But there is definitely a purple kind of undertone to it. Really beautiful, actually. It's, um, yeah, it's like a nice deep pink. That's how I would describe it. I suck at this, but you can see it on my face. 
See how it looks so much more latexy though, the darker you get, like if you want that really full on latex look, I would say go with the brighter, darker colors. Oh, interesting. If your lips are wet at all, it won't go on. <laughs> my lips are so uneven right now, guys. Just don't even, don't even judge me on my, my zit is like, what are you doing to me, woman? Like, what are you trying to do? Suffocate me with latex? Freaking lady. This is called Bite Me, which is a really dark, vampy kind of reddish brown. It's almost like when blood kind of dries as a scab. It's like that. <laughs> That's so gross. Oh, it makes your teeth look, oh golly, gall dang. That's terrible. Oh God. Mm -mm. Don't smile. My teeth do look really right though. You just can't smell because then it gets all over you and they look crazy. I was watching Nikki uh, tutorials video, her oh god nose. And the beginning, like literally before she even puts the little thing about, oh my gosh, the lipstick on her tooth, I was like, oh, poor thing. I hate when that happens. I hate when you're like filming an intro and you have lipstick all over your teeth and you're like, dang it, do I just scratch it and just have no intro or do I just be like, hi, there's lipstick all over my teeth and I look so ridiculous right now. So I loved how she was just like slow mode it and then put the little emoji, but I hate when that happens. I hate when you're like full of lipstick on your teeth and it's just like, chocolate in your mouth well it's not doing it now but these things are dangerous that's why dark lipsticks are they're sneaky my lips are officially on fire okay so this color is called strange love this is the first color that i have to say i do not care for whatsoever it looks like dirty gray poop like you're sick like you've had some serious issues in your life and you are just is not good. I don't think I would ever wear this color ever. It's just too gray brown for me. Okay, well my lips are completely just wrecked at the moment, but this is Can't Touch This. And this is like a really, really dark, deep, kind of like plummy, wine, eggplant. <laughs> my zit. <laughs> so bad but yeah this is actually really pretty again a really pretty color something that's a little darker and out of my box but do you see that latex like how latexy it looks because it's such a dark color the darker the brighter the better as far as the latex like look goes these are so beautiful now, now that I'm wearing them a little more I do feel like it's not quite as sticky as you would expect it to be I mean it's definitely stickier than like if you're wearing just a regular hydrating lip gloss or lipstick. I mean, it definitely feels thicker on the lips, but I feel like they did actually do a pretty good job as far as the stickiness goes because I feel like the MAC Dazzle glasses are much stickier. Okay, so now we have by Felicia and it's just a really fun purple. It's a, it's definitely a darker purple, but it still has like that brightness and kind of like electric, but with a darker vibe, if that makes sense. Purple for me is definitely out of my comfort zone, but it is really fun and it is really pretty. And I could see, I would probably wear this on Halloween or something. I used to be really self-conscious to reach over like this because my mole was right there in videos and I would edit it out a lot. And now I don't have a mole there anymore. It's like seriously the best thing of life. This is the last one, folks. This is really pretty. Purple is a hard one to pull off without it looking like you never brush your teeth and you drink like 12 coffees a day and smoke. Oh, see, do you see what I mean? It makes your teeth look so kind of grayish yellow. So I can never wear these colors. I feel like unless you like whiten your teeth every second of your life, it's so hard to pull off these colors unless you are maybe a deeper skin tone, then I think you can. It looks really fun and pretty. But when you're like this color, it makes your teeth look so yellow, unfortunately. So not my favorite. This is Twilight Zone. Although I do think the color itself is beautiful and I wouldn't mind a pair of heels this color because this is really pretty. But as far as my teeth, they literally look like neon green yellow and they're not. They're like pretty darn white actually. So pretty color, but not on me. I feel like you have to have really, really white teeth to wear this. And then I am gonna show you uh, because there is a shine boosting top. Man. That was such a good catch. This is the Shine Boosting Top Coat. It's Girl on Top, and apparently, I mean, I have used it, and it did seem to make it a like, little extra shiny. You just put it on top, and it takes the shine 
to a whole nother level. And I'm also assuming that you could put this over other products that aren't this to just make your lips look really shiny and delicious. Um, yeah, do you see how much shinier it looks now? It looks like it's gonna drip off and just like wet all over myself. So that does definitely amp up that latexy kind of like wet, like whoa Nelly shine. So this would be really pretty over like your favorite nude or whatever if you just wanna look really, really deliciously plumpy juiciness. I think this might be one of those products that you could just have in your makeup collection to make anything look really latexy and shiny. So this is probably, I think this is a really good one because you can do anything with it. My two favorites are absolutely the Peekaboo and the Hopeless Romantic. I'm a nude lover, so of course I'm gonna love those. But I also really loved this uh, Love You Mean It. And I also really liked the Rated R. So I would say the two corals and the two nudes are my favorite. And then I think this is really great to just have for putting over these. There's my kind of thoughts. This is like the longest video ever. I feel like the formula is really great. It's pigmented, it's opaque. You don't need to worry about how red your lips are underneath. I mean, you guys know mine are looking a wreck underneath and the full color comes through no matter what your lip color is looking like. So I love that. Um, I do think that they make your lips look really juicy and plump and full and hydrated and delicious. So I think as far as the, like, act the actual look, goes. I really like that. I think it looks really pretty. I think they have a great range of colors. I think there's something that everybody will find. Their nudes are bomb. They're just a perfect amount of peachiness to where they warm up your face, but they're still a nude. Um, the formula is really nice. Like I said, it's sticky a little bit, but not over. Actually, this one, it's not sticky at all. This clear one just made it so that it didn't feel sticky in any way. There's definitely stickier products out there. So while I do think it's stickier than the products I normally use, it's not as sticky as it could be. The applicator is really nice. I feel like it's precise enough to where you can get a really good, you know, precise line. But because it has that little like rivet, like dip inside of it, it puts out a lot of products. So you really only need like one swipe for the bottom and one swipe for the top. And I do love the packaging. I think it's nice that you can see exactly what color you're getting through the packaging. So I love that. Overall, I think this is a really great product. Other than that white line, I would say that would be my complaint is that the white line is pretty intense. It definitely gets all gunky and like gross in there after I would say maybe like an hour or so. I would say give it, give it two, two to three hours and then you'll see the line. Although I did wear it over foundation. So I had foundation on my lips and I know that sometimes that can really trigger it to work or to happen more than if you were to just put it on bare lips with no kind of foundation. So maybe give it a try as far as doing it with no foundation on your lips at all. And then you might be able to get away from that little, the little creepy white line, because I hate that. It's so unattractive. And then you feel like you're just like super gross, like, hi. Hey. Um, but overall, I, oh, do you see what I mean? It's because it's so intensely thick that happens and then when you talk more and it gets wet then you have this weird line but it i think with any type of product like this when they're so opaque and thick and like pigmented it happens because there's it's it can't get wet anywhere that there's wetness it won't stick to so overall i would give these a thumbs up i think that they're beautiful i think they're really pretty i love the colors i love how shiny they are i love how they make your lips feel they're not drying in any way they do make your lips feel very hydrated and they do stay on the lips really well so i love this glitter palette this palette the glitter balm is off it is bomb i love it this is beautiful i will absolutely be wearing this over and over again over tons of different things I love glitter, so of course I'm gonna like it. If you don't like glitter, you won't like it because you don't like glitter. But I do actually love it. I think it's pigmented. I think it's really fun that they have one side of the white, one side of the black, so you can kind of mix up your colors and make, you know, create a lot of different looks even though it's just using the same color. So I love that. I think it's portable. It's, it's small enough to, to where it's easy to pack, but it's not like too small to where you feel like you're not getting any product. I mean, the product, like you get a good size. And they're really pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot. So I love this. That's definitely a thumbs up. Yay! Good job, Too Faced! I love this. I'm so excited for Candy Johnson's collection. <gasps> I'm counting down the days. I think it's September that it comes out. So I'm really excited for that because I feel like that's going to be bomb. I've also... Someone just knocked on my door. Okay, and then I'll just show you a real quick close-up of these roller roller skates. I keep wanting to say blades. Look how cute they are. They're so fun. 
They're glittery and latexy. They say Too Faced on the laces as well as right there. And even the wheels are pink with hearts. Like, oh my goodness, can you get any cuter? <sighs> They're so big though. I really need to find some thick socks. And then maybe I can test them out, see if I still got some skills. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And leave a comment down below letting me know what was your favorite color on me. Which one did you think, oh, yes, that was the winner. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Yes, how like my hair, what is that thing doing right there? It like totally matches these colors. Don't even judge my lips anymore. They just look so big and ridiculous. But this is hot mess. <laughs>